I uh, grew up in a non-Christian household, not hostile to Christianity, but one where it just wasn't present. My mother was uh, occasionally spiritual, my father really not. Um, what eventually got me into counseling really was my mother's alcoholism. We uh, lived with that really her whole life. She died in the 90s. Uh, and that set me up for, for uh, depression. I got to uh, the Naval Academy, and it was a lifelong dream to go there. Uh, it was uh, sort of really drove me into myself some, except for the one most significant occurrence, which was when I came to Christ, which was my uh, freshman year at the Naval Academy. But even that was really sort of overlaid with, with what was going on inside. I described depression in my case as a desperate feeling of inadequacy, of worthlessness. I can remember during one of our mission trips to West Virginia, a time of great encouragement and blessing for me and for the group. I was teaching in the evenings. I was uh, helping out in the uh, work teams, uh, good relationships with people. But I found myself, I had a free afternoon, sitting in McDonald's in Parsons, West Virginia, crying just because I felt so worthless, so lost. Counseling was a time of disclosure, which didn't bother me particularly. I, I know for a lot of men, especially, uh, that's very difficult to sort of peel back those layers. For me, that wasn't that hard. I, I didn't mind that. I wasn't ashamed of it. Why should I be ashamed of having a broken leg or catching pneumonia? So why should I be ashamed of being depressed? In some ways, I suspect that the enemy is involved with trying to keep us from getting help. I know he is. That nobody else is as bad as we are and nobody can help us. And those are all lies. So just put the key in the lock, turn the lock and walk through the door, get help. Don't let anything stop you from going before God, praying about it and asking him to help you get the help that you need.